Bro, it has never been as over for a restaurant as it is for Subway in 2023. If it was ever good, it was a long time ago. Don't get me wrong. It's not like they, they were starting at like an eight and now they've declined. They were starting at like a five that I had some nostalgia for. But let me let me give you my experience, you know, over the last three or four years, I go to Subway once a month, every once in a while, whether it's my brain or the, the microbiome in my gut or whatever, just goes, hey, you could use a thousand calories of sandwich. And I say, okay, now and then, I'm not gonna lie to you like other people on the internet. I'm not gonna say like you should never eat it. Sometimes you say, I'm gonna let like my id win over the, the super ego today. So that's fair. So I go to Subway, I get a sandwich, foot long, cold cut, foot long, oven roasted chicken, whatever, okay? And I, it was not good, but I knew that it was not good and I was craving the not goodness. And that was acceptable. Acceptable, not good, acceptable. Let me give you my experience on Tuesday. I go to Subway on Tuesday, they fucked up the menu board. I've never, I, I know that they've been doing the eat fresh, refresh. They've been introducing new sandwiches, but until now I'd been able to ignore them. They had one menu board for normies and then one menu board that was like, we're trying this out. This time they got rid of the normie menu board. I'm sure that if you asked, you could probably uh, just get a, a foot long classic sandwich. But I was like, I don't want to be that 80 year old man who's walking in the, you know, a restaurant ordering some shit from like 1971. So I say, you know what? There's 15 sandwiches on the menu. They're all named superlatives. They're, they're all called like the Calgary Stampeder and shit like that. So I don't know what the hell is on them. I got 0.2 seconds to read the, the 20 different uh, menu options, right? This lady says, what do you have? I'll say, hey, give me a foot long kicking chicken. Okay, here's where it started to go wrong. As soon as I looked at the sandwich that I ordered, I said, oh, fuck. It's 1,280 calories. So that's all. We're already starting off on a bad foot here. But then I looked at every, while she was putting the ingredients on, I looked at every other sandwich on the menu and they were 19 out of 20 were over 1,000. So I was like, you know what? It could be, I, I, I've accepted that at Subway, I'm already not going to be healthy, but at least like it's, it, I didn't pick exactly the worst thing. There were still other worst things, Okay. Anyway, kicking chicken sandwich, what is it? It's fucking, it's like three small breaded chicken cutlets, banana peppers, fucking who, who gives a shit, right? Some sauces. Step two of, it's already I'm pissed off, it's 1,280 calories, so I don't even know what's in it. Number two, I tipped, and you can call me a sucker for that, but the lady fucking was with my sandwich from conception to birth, Okay. So I tipped, I tipped 15%. I resented being asked, but in my head I said, why, why should she not get a tip? She does more than like a, the average barista does, okay? So maybe I'm a sucker. With a 15% tip, the sandwich came to $18 Canadian. Even with the USD to CAD conversion, that's like $15.50 or something like that. It's crazy. It's almost a $20 lunch at Subway now. So I said, that's insane. That's a huge second knock, okay? Two strikes. The third strike is that the sandwich was fucking horrible, even by Subway standards. Like, it's never amazing. You never eat a sandwich at Subway and you're like, oh, I've never experienced, like, taste nirvana like this. But this was, like, a brand new level of badness. Like, it's breaded chicken but then they just heat up the chicken in the microwave so the breading doesn't get crispy, it gets all like gummy, and then like 80% of the chicken cutlet is just flour, and then there's like a little bit of chicken inside. It's like when you go to a Canadian Chinese food restaurant, you get the chicken balls, and it's like a big timbit with like one little small nugget of, of chicken in the middle. So like, let's, let's just go over this. Yes, I ate the whole thing. It's... 1,280 calories, it cost me $18, it was probably $15.50 without tip, still very expensive, and it doesn't taste good. 
Remind me again why anyone would go to this fucking restaurant. As the only person that was left on planet Earth defending Subway, what, it, what's the value proposition for going there? It's bad for you, it's too expensive, and it tastes like shit. Like, at least you could, you could go get something that tastes good and is bad for you, or you could get something expensive that tastes good, or you could get something cheap that is healthy. You know, like, there's, it, it's, it's bad in all three directions, on all three axes. I think you just got to give up on it. I, I think the restaurant is just cooked, man. It's been, it's been dying for, like, a decade, but it's fucking dead now. Like, they, whatever they did to try to save it, it's like when you have a sap run that you know can't get to 10, but you know if you pivot, you're going to lose immediately. They pivoted, and they're losing immediately. They're, they're cooked, man. I was the only person in the restaurant as well. Reminds me during uh, the COVID pseudo lockdowns where they would have like a sign on the front of the subway that was like, please note, we can only have one customer inside of the store at any given time. Don't worry, subway. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's like when you order a pizza and you know you're embarrassed because it's just for you. So you just crack open the door and go, hey, guys, pizza's here. Hey, hey, we can't accommodate all the incredible demand. The government is not letting us let any more customers into our restaurant. Like, I don't do this too often. It's a, as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a two-star review, which is the worst review. Because a one-star review, we just throw in the trash. It just means you're upset. Subway is, it has become a two-star restaurant. Too expensive, tastes bad, not good for you. What's the point? All right. Hey, you know what? Hey, let me say. Shack burger number one. Okay. Now, it was not a, a, the place you want the streak, but I agree with their ranking of the Shack burger, at least. Shack burger number one can't be real. Shack burger is delicious, man. The only complaint anybody is 1995. Only complaint anybody has about Shake Shack is they're always like, oh, the burger is $9. Yeah, because it deserves to be 15. It could be worse, by the way. It could be Subway, where a kicking chicken is 18 bucks, and it tastes like detritus. I went to r slash Subway last night. The entire... Post OxyClean. The entire r slash Subway discussion for the last month has been like, why is this restaurant so expensive now? Also, Subway workers complaining that people, regulars come into their restaurant, and because they changed the menu, they now... Post Bowflex. The regulars come into the restaurant and now get confused because of the new menu. And as a result, they don't go back to the restaurant anymore. So the new signature series is bringing nobody in. And it's alienating the few consumers they still had. Is it over for me? Did you see the tweet that was like Google Translate? And the translated phrase was, my friend cut my penis off. And they translated it to Dutch. And it's like, mind Freund snuff. Mine penis off. <laughs> Sorry. Mine friends need me pen mine penis off. You should check out the subway subreddit again. Okay, just give me a listen. Just give me a damn second, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on in my life. I haven't been in about a week, so just give me a second here. Can please sort by top this month. Someone forgot to put the bread in the fridge last night. It's just a picture of a bunch of dough. Hey, I'm just... Like, I'm, I want to see posts that validate what I said about Subway. Okay? A lot of these are like, my bosses suck. That's fine. Walked into work today. My boss just handed me this. 12-inch meatball sub. Malted rye bread. Mozzarella, toasted spinach, tomatoes, capsicum, onions, jalapenos, pickles, blue cheese dressing, habanero, hot sauce, cracked pepper, rock salt. Please, please, can I have an absurd amount of jalapeno? Fuck me up, fam. God bless and good day to you. Please check order contents are correct. Lady came in, ordered some of everything, then complained. That's got to be like, I've never worked at Subway. I think that would be what would get me to quit or at least not like the job. The number of times that people like... I give people exactly what they want on their sandwich, and then they go, this thing's fucked up. Hate to throw out bread. Rate my bread. Subway should offer fruit as an alternative choice to chips. 
This shit way too expensive now. First time going to Subway in 10 years the other day. Got a foot long Italian sub with lettuce, salami, ham, cheddar, and Chipotle Southwest. 16.59, no drink. They got to chill. I will never go back to Subway. Could have gone to Chipotle and got way better and more food for the same price. Top comment. Get the app and order using coupons. Man, fuck you. <laughs> hey, you hate the business? Download their app onto your cell phone so they can advertise to you. You freaking fed? I don't even know what that means, but it's what you are. No shot, man. Got a foot long sweet onion today for lunch, 13 bucks. It's the, what they're doing with Subway is criminal. Everyone who's ever worked at Subway should be in prison forever, in my opinion. Based. So true. Even the, yes, even the food service workers. Sorry. You should have gotten the job at Jersey Mike's if you didn't want to rot. By the way, Subway could easily buy my allegiance and get me back. Obviously, at this point, if they could make the sandwiches taste good, they would have done it by now because they've been in business for 40 years. They can't do that. What they could do is make them 40% of the price that they presently are. They could take off 60% of the price. I would pay $11 for a basic footlong sandwich. It's 2023, I understand that it's hard to run a restaurant. Input costs are way up. Inflation has, has been high for like a year and a half. But I'm sorry, you can't, you can't charge $16.59 for a, for a Subway sandwich. It's just, it's madness. Did I tell you, by the way, that the last time I went to Subway, and that was like the, the genesis of, of this madness for me. The last time I went to Subway, the tomatoes had no inner layer. It was just a wagon wheel. It was one red wheel with red spokes coming out of it, and then like a red center. There was no... I mean, I, I'm, I'm not trying to get into like a semantic debate, but there was no inner tomato. There was nothing in the cloister. It is better than a tomato that has 45% hard white part. I don't know what the word is either. I'm not going to get up on your grill for that one. That's just, uh, that, as far as I'm concerned, that might, be the, that might be the preferred nomenclature. Live. Oh. <laughs> pith. Tomato's got a pith. I didn't, I thought that was just for oranges, but... It's a crazy world we live in these days, I suppose. You know what the crazy thing is? After talking about Subway, I still... Like, my body is like, oh, I want some Subway. Even though I know it's bad. You are lost. I'm not gonna get it. I'm just saying, like, I have to fight... I have to fight my brain a little bit. It's not only bad, it's expensive. I know. Average customer, 12 inch tuna sub, cut in half with clean knife, please. What kind of psycho would write that on the special section? <laughs> cut in half with clean knife. Brother, it's one of the few restaurants you can police what you're getting. All you got to do is take your ass to the damn store. You are asking for, it's like writing don't. Don't piss on my sandwich. I was going to say spit, but then I read piss in chat. Brother, they're pissing on. They're, that's the only one they're going to piss on. Italian herbs and cheese, shredded mozzarella, 12-inch tuna, toasted, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, cucumber, green pepper, black olives, onions, oil, regular mayonnaise, honey mustard sauce, sweet onion chicken teriyaki, peppercorn ranch sauce. Fuck off. Four sauces? Eat shit. No subs. One year! Four sauces? Jeremy, four sauces? Salt, less. Oregano, less. And a sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. Get a life. They are the reason the knife is gross. Plus two on that comment. Prices are getting out of hand. I work next door to a Subway. I would eat there every day if I could afford it, but I'd go broke. For the same price as a pizza sub from the Subway next door, I can get the same order from Mr. Sub delivered via Uber Eats or a whole pizza delivered for less. With the prices so high, it's easy to shop elsewhere. I just don't understand why the prices are getting so high. Top comment. Franchise owners and employees on here, 
We hate coupons. Stores make no money. The franchise owners, $15 sub, take it or leave it. I, it, was a, it was a meme. I understand now. $19 for a foot long? Is this normal? Flagstaff, Arizona. People really do... The, the kind of person that would order a sandwich like this from Subway, this is the kind of person... You should have to see someone order something from Subway before you vote. Because if someone, if, if I see the person that I'm going to vote for walk into Subway and say, give me a 12-inch veggie delight, Italian herbs and cheese, pepper jack cheese, toasted, black olives, more, oil, more, mayonnaise, more, buffalo sauce, peppercorn ranch, Baja chipotle sauce, more, roasted garlic, aioli, black pepper, salt, less Parmesan cheese, more, I'm not voting for you. You're not suited to lead. Power will go to your head. Five sauces and then hidden more, less, more, less, more, less. You're not suited for leadership. That's too specific. It's not just that the sub sounds disgusting. It's that they're, they're, a, they're a dictator, man. They order everyone around. So true, so true. Me, walk up to counter. Worker, foot long. Wait, me, walk up to counter. Foot long white bread. Worker, six inch or foot long? <laughs> Dude! Oh, man. Classic. This never happened to me, but I could imagine. Thoughts on the new Subway series? Oh, here we go. They're so stupid. No customer goes to Subway to not get what they want. It's a pain for the employees. Now you have to remember what comes on the sub instead of just asking what they want. If I want no onion, I have to ask for it at a drive through It's just risking for mistakes to be made. Plus, is definitely moving to this as the default, and they're $3 more expensive than the classic sandwiches. Thank you! Last week, I couldn't locate or describe my usual sandwich, so I just went to Mr. Sub. Okay, that person, I should vote for them because I don't have the strength to walk into a subway and then walk out. I would just be like, I guess lunch is going to suck today and be expensive. They actually, they went and they said, I respect myself too much for this. And then they walked out. I'm sure the new sandwiches will still retain Subway's well-known, low-quality ingredients, malaise, taste, and high prices served by overworked, underpaid, disgruntled workers. So in that way, things will stay the same. Stupid considering every customer I have always just wants the sandwich their own way. It's a cash grab. I'm irritated I can't order online because I can't remove items I don't like. I only like lettuce, pickle, and cucumber for veggies on my subs. I also don't like most sauces. Just seems like too much of a hassle. I'm going to Mr. Sub. Bro, Mr. Sub is, is the sandwich store of the summer. Um, what is it? My libido's gone berserk. I don't want to go to work. I don't want nothing to eat. Driving up and down the street. But only two weeks ago, two, three, you said you'd never leave me. Two, three, four, but here I am alone. One, two, then in this world of reckless happenstance, why do good things have to go away? Two, three, and leave you with nothing. Two, three, four, and she left me with nothing. If you know the word, sing along. You ever listen to Prozac, man? That was a song, dude.